This is JT Santos with your News in 90. Retired racing greyhounds are getting a second chance at a better life in South Florida. A high school program at South Tech Academy in Boynton Beach is teaming up with a nonprofit organization to train greyhounds to become service dogs for veterans. After a law passed that ends dog racing in the state of Florida, these greyhounds are being retrained for South Florida veterans in need. All of these dogs will need to be adopted or to be fostered before going through a program like the one at South Tech Academy. The program runs completely on donations. Thousands of troops are heading home from the U.S.-Mexico border as caravans begin to arrive. The troops that President Trump sent to the border to meet the caravans are being sent home this week. According to a federal judge, these migrants must be allowed to request asylum anywhere they decide to enter. President Trump will not be able to control these migrants from coming to the U.S. who are claiming asylum. One of the busiest ports of entry has been closed by the government in order to install new barriers. All 5,800 troops are expected to be home before Christmas. Roads and airport lines will be busy as Thanksgiving approaches. The holiday travelers have officially arrived and this Thanksgiving volume is predicted to be the highest since 2005. 54 million Americans will be traveling more than 50 miles away and the vast majority will take to the roads. Drivers will find gas prices 20 cents cheaper than a month ago. If you bought a plane ticket for this Thanksgiving holiday, you're also not alone. An estimated 4.2 million others will be traveling through the air. Officials encourage drivers to be aware and safe while traveling to their destinations. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.